Time now for the CDV Environmental Watch. Here's Dennis Springer. The Caribbean islands need to participate in all the water forums and just to have their say with the United Nations. In terms of water, the Caribbean have led in coming out with familiar slo slogans such as we are water and water is life. The way we relate to this resource demonstrate our way of thinking as a civilization and a culture. Due to our topography and climate conditions, we in the Caribbean are lucky to have regular rainy seasons that enable many homes to receive clean water from their taps. It is difficult to imagine the hardships we would have without the convenience of a dependable drinking water supply, without toilet facilities and without such rainfall for our crops. However, it has come to the point where we cannot take these, th these things for granted because global warming and climate change is now having an effect on our uh, water supply. Therefore, the time has certainly come when we need to sensitize the community, especially primary and secondary school children, on the need to conserve one of the world's natural and scarce resources, water. That is why I hope that this segment of the news initiative will be the catalyst that will help in sensitizing and energizing the younger generation on issues associated with water resources in St. Lucia and in the region and the world. We must emphasize the importance of protecting our watersheds, especially from pollution. I therefore hope that world leaders will ensure that the sustainable development goals will include a focus on securing sustainable water for all and to define quantitative, time-bound stretch targets that make this a specific objective rather than an unmeasurable statement of intent. To properly address water risk, these targets should extend beyond access to clean water and sanitation to include wastewater treatment, nutrition, nutrient pollution, water reuse, and disaster vulnerability, all areas that the United Nations Expert Network has highlight, highlighted as critical to reducing global vulnerability to water risk.